Hi everyone, I was at the Japanese market uh, a couple days ago and saw that the plums were out. Plums are seasonal and is considered a superfood in Japan and used in so many different ways. It was something I wanted to show to you guys, um, but since they're out, I didn't want to wait till another Wednesday, um, so I'm throwing in a plum special this weekend. Many families in Japan make um, Japanese liquor called umeshu, which is pretty much plum steeped in with alcohol and sugar. Um, it was first used as medicine to soothe throats, um, and eventually it became a popular drink, often referred to as plum wine, but it's actually liquor, not wine. Since it's very easy to make, I will first show you what to look for at supermarkets so you could get it yourself, and then how to make and drink umeshu, and then the fun cocktails you can make out of it. Here we go! So here I was at my nearby Japanese market and because making umeshu is so popular, the whole setup is on display during this time in California. Um, here's the ume, which means plum, and shu, which means alcohol. So we use plums that are still green and hard before they ripe. You sometimes may see brown spots here and there, but it's not a big problem unless it's big, in which case you could just toss it out. Other ingredients that you need are rock sugar or crystal sugar on the left and liquor on the right. When I was there, they had this spirit made from potato, which is probably the most commonly used one. Um, I'll tell you, you later all the other kinds of liquor you can use instead. Here's what the typical container will look like. It's usually a red lid and under it has a plastic lid with a cap so you can easily pour umeshu uh, when it's done. But you can use any glass container. This is just convenient, but make sure to have at least three to four liters. Lastly, because it's so popular, instructions could be displayed and you can just take a snapshot of it, but there are many different ways of making umeshu and you don't have to be on the dot with these numbers. Um, I'll tell you how later. So let's start making that plum liquor. I went ahead and got the plum from the market. This is 1.66 pounds and this is a kilogram of rock sugar, which is about two pounds. And I know on the instructions it says um, two pounds of plum and 1.5 of rock sugar, but I always tell myself one to one ratio. It really doesn't matter if one is a little more or less than the other. Um, you know, like you saw, there's it's all packaged up, if you, especially if you go to the Japanese market and I get a package, package, and then I choose my choice of liquor. So it's really easy to make. Here we go. Now that the plum is ready, all we have to do is layer the plum along with the rock sugar into this jar. And you want to make sure it's um, more than two liters. Uh, at the market, they had the smaller one and the bigger one. Um, I think the smaller one was two liters and I went ahead and got the four liter one just to be safe. the plum layered in with the rock sugar and the reason why we use rock sugar is so that the steeping process is slow along with the liquor preventing the plum to get all wrinkled up you want to keep it nicely rounded now on to choosing your alcohol for your plum liquor the most commonly used ones are spirit made of barley rice and potato but if you don't have it uh, you can also use vodka brandy white rum or gin uh, make sure you have two liters of it though Right here, I have spirit made of buckwheat. I just got this because I thought it was interesting. I've never seen it or tried it, so here I have it. But I won't be using it for uh, my plum liquor today. Um, instead, I'll be using this one, which is spirit made of barley, and it also has a cool Mount Fuji label on it. Label's important. <laughs> Three months later, you got this.
Now, the second part of the video is very short. How do we drink this plum liquor? Um, there's many different ways you can drink this. Uh, the most popular way is chilled in the refrigerator or on the rocks. Ice. Little bit of plum liquor. You can also mix this with hot water for your sore throat. Um, or even club soda to make it refreshing. Now onto the third and final part of the video, how to make cocktail with your umeshu. Um, today I'll be showing you four different kinds. Two are actually my favorite. And then the other two, I saw some people experimenting. So I was just curious. I'm gonna see how it tastes like. We'll see. <laughs> Very refreshing, a great summer beverage. Um, if you don't want it to be that sweet, you can add in more tonic water. Next. I guess I shouldn't have used a uh, purple tank glass. <laughs> doesn't look as refreshing, but um, I can promise you that it is. So let's try this. <clears throat> yes, I definitely like this one better. I like them both, but if you're a fan of mint and lime, um, it matches really well with the plum. You better try this one. Next. So this is plum with beer. Let's see how it goes. Mm. It's actually not too bad, but um, it, I'm sure it'll really depend on the beer. I don't know about beer too much, um, but I would definitely choose a lighter beer. Um, if you're if you like beer, you might not like this, but if you're not a beer fan but like Kind of like um, if you like mixing ginger ale, um, this might be a fun alternative. Now on to my scariest experiment. So this is it guys, bloody plum. So we'll see how this goes. If you like tomato juice or Bloody Mary, maybe give it a try, but not for me. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to make your own plum liquor, I would definitely hit the supermarkets today while the plums are still out there because it's seasonal. Um, and once you make this, and after you wait three months minimum, um, you can enjoy this for a pretty long time. It lasts me, I don't know, six, nine months, maybe a year, because it's very sweet. I always like to sip it um, on the rocks or dilute it with um, club soda for sure. But the plum mojito might be my new favorite. So give it a try.